Over the course of our planet's history, thousands of different species of plants and animals have been lost forever, become extinct. However, right now we have a chance to change the course of the future and save one of these precious endangered species from extinction. The Oregon silver spot butterfly is a species that is only naturally present in a few small locations on the entire planet, and their populations are disappearing fast. We had a chance to take a trip to one of the last remaining habitats of the butterfly, Mount Hebo, to see exactly why the species is disappearing so quickly and what we can do to try and help it survive. So here we are at Mount Hebo, one of the last remaining natural habitats of the Oregon silver spot butterfly. Today we're joined by a group of scientists who are going to show us a little bit more about what they're doing for the restoration project of the butterfly, as well as Samson the dog, who has been trained to sniff out the larva of the butterfly. And so Samson is going to show us a little bit of what he does, and we're going to learn a lot more about how the Oregon silver spot butterfly integrates with this habitat of Mount Hebo. The caterpillar only eats violets, so for that part of the life cycle, um, violets have to be present for um, silver spot butterflies. Last, uh, last season was, was warm and dry um, and the violets appeared to be drying up and that would be, um, that would be an issue for the caterpillars and then of course the whole population. Over the years, the majority of the populations have been in decline due to a variety of reasons, mostly having to do with habitat alterations. We see a trend with the weather patterns, especially up here on Mount Hebo. Um, we've had warmer, drier summers. Um, with drier springs, which usually um, are not good for larval survival. The Oregon silver spot butterfly is fully dependent on the early blue violet for food at the beginning stage of its life. But with rising numbers of invasive plant species in the coastal mountains, the violet is unable to grow, shrinking the already limited number of habitats available to the butterfly. The pasture grasses that uh, have come in and invaded a lot of the coastal prairie have come in through seeding and agriculture areas um, and, have, and has, have escaped and as areas have become disturbed. Once they get established, they, um, they're, they're very aggressive in, in growing and they develop sort of, a, sort of a dense thatch and many of the local grasses are more sort of bunch forming, um, usually open spaces and sort of um, more forbs and wildflowers can grow in between and the pasture grasses just form a dense thatch that doesn't allow any of the natives to grow through. At this elevation, we tend to get snow, it tends to stick around, and the thought is that that's partly responsible for keeping the invasive species in check. Mount Hebo is the only remaining stable ecosystem left for the Oregon silver spot butterfly, which last year experienced its lowest recorded population to date. In an effort to help reverse this tragedy, the University of Washington Conservation Canine Unit has trained dogs to help snip out the larva of the butterfly. My name is Julianne Ubigo and I'm a wildlife biologist and dog handler for the Conservation Canine Program at the University of Washington. Here we've been training the dogs to find the, the scat or the frass of the caterpillar, the silver spot caterpillar, as well as the exoskeletons. And um, every dog gets the same reward from us when they found the target and that is the opportunity to play ball. Samson's 12 years old so his ball time so that I give him is very short, but that's enough to keep him happy. He's an easy, easy co-worker. He's happy with just 30 seconds of playtime with his big ball, and, and then I put the ball in my pocket, and he's off to find the next target. Once collected, the larvae are carefully transported to the Oregon Zoo, where they're raised into healthy adults in a protected environment. When the butterflies are fully grown, they are re-released back into specific ecosystems that aren't self-sustaining in hopes of reviving them and even creating entirely new habitats for the species. In short, the Oregon silver spot butterfly is a very important species for maintaining the natural ecosystem of the coastal mountain range. Through its role as a pollinator for the early blue violet, the butterfly helps to keep this region healthy and beautiful. Man's involvement has threatened this majestic species, pushing it to the verge of extinction. But now we have a chance to make amends and give these species the tools they need to thrive again.